Hey, New Scooters West Vlog. I am coming back to the dealership after doing a whole bunch of stuff with repaint. Been out. I've been out a little bit more often lately as Mike's been taking control of New Scooters for Less and keeping this place in tip top shape. Everybody, the whole team's just crushing business, which I love. It's, it's, we're in November, wrapping up the year, but today is a special day because one of my professors, my old professor, my old entrepreneurship professor from when I was in college, um, hit me up and was like, hey, I have a great idea. I want to bring a class that I teach. It's a creativity and business class. I don't know the exact name. Maybe we'll find out, but it's a creativity class. And I um, was like, hey, you're creative in business. I'd love to bring the class to the dealership and just have you give us a tour, talk about some of the things. So I was like, of course, that would be awesome. Um, so they're here. We're going to go say hello, give them a little tour and see what happens. Let's go. When people come to me just for advice and they say, hey Colin, I'm thinking about starting a restaurant, you know, what should I be thinking? I'm like, go, I'm like, go visit a whole bunch of other restaurants and then go out and do something that's the opposite. Like don't do what everybody else is doing. We, we kind of frame it in our head that this is the way business should be done. And I think because we keep pushing that limit, like, hey, this is how a power sports dealership or how a scooter dealership or motorcycle dealership should be run. And we, and, we, and we challenge that, we like go against it. We try to find things that are just completely unique and different. We were gonna have to ch change the perception of scooters because guys, believe it or not, like in 2004, five, six, seven, like those early years, scooters were not cool. Like students would come in with their parents and they were looked at as dorky. It was very much of like, no mom, dad, I would never be caught dead on that. Do not buy that for me. <laughs> and there's this perception of scooters being dorky and I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, will you just shut up and let your mom buy you a scooter? And that was, and that was the early days. And I just knew that we were gonna have to change that perception. And one of the things that we did to do that was to create by creating, focusing on the environment and, and making the product cool. And then of course we started focusing on, actually we get like custom colors and things that are unique to only our dealership. The experience has definitely evolved over the years. And one of, actually one of the most unique things that I think is interesting, uh, like even in the last, 18 months or so is that we created something called the Hall Ass Pass because we realized that during back to school and these other times we're super busy that waiting for waiting two or three hours to get your scooter and go through the sales process isn't that fun. Um, so we actually have a process now where we will like talk to you via via technology, give you these forms, have you pre-fill everything out. So literally you walk in, it's like, hey, how you doing? We got your paperwork all ready for you. Just sign here, sign here, sign here. Boom, you're done. And now you go out and do the fun part. And so the experience is faster, but like you still, you just get to do the party part, the celebration part, and not waiting two hours on the beanbag for your paper. We truly, we, we try to make it feel as if it's their birthday. <laughs> That's the only way to explain it. Um, we don't force it on anybody. So like actually when you're going through the sales process, um, there's a question on there that says, do you like, do you like to party or do you like to celebrate? And then it says yes or no, but it says if you check yes, the chances of this happening, this happening, this happening, this happening, you know, are highly likely. This. <laughs> Professor Rossi was getting the scooter right here, <laughs> right? We would come over here as the customer's coming out. We'd ring the bell. Like the entire team. Actually, we should do this together. Like, get everybody out here. We're going to take a picture around the scooter. <laughs> everybody get around Professor Rossi. Let's take a big picture right come here. On, come on, let's go. 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 I love Gainesville. I'm super passionate about Gainesville. Um, I'm kind of on a mission right now to even make you guys realize that as students, that when you graduate, that you can actually stay in Gainesville. I think college, I think Gainesville gets labeled as this is a college town. This is where you go to school and then you leave. I'm, you know, this. You guys are in a top eight university. Like we need, we need some of that talent to stay here in Gainesville. And this is something that I'm becoming, becoming super passionate about. Um, the University of Florida, the city of Gainesville, the Chamber of Commerce, they're constantly trying to 
come together to have a unified vision of, of where Gainesville's gonna go next. And, and that's great, and I want, I want to play a role in that by being on the board of directors, but one of the things that I constantly uh, see is that it just takes a long time. These are large organizations and it takes a long time. And so what I would encourage you guys to do is like anytime, like knowing what your strengths are and being able to play off those strengths in any capacity is a good thing. I'm a marketer. I've always been a marketer. I think that's why New Scooters for Less is, is one of the top dealerships in the country is because I use Snapchat, social media, like all video, plethora of different tools to to get in the eye, you know, get in front of students and, and others. Um, so when I saw this need of like, hey, like we need to recruit talent to games. We need to bring businesses here. We need to keep our talent here. Um, and I was like, you know what? One of the things that I know how to do is is be a marketer. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a podcast. And I'm going to invite business owners from all over, all over Gainesville, people who own companies, and I'm going to tell their story, and I'm going to, I'm going to expose them to the world, and I'm going to give them this value and share this business. And guys, it's been so far. We've only, we've done 32 episodes. It's been a year-long thing so far, and it's and it's doing really, really well. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you um, for having yeah, me. <laughs> Definitely grab one of my cards. And on the desk out there if you guys have any questions just hit me up okay it's interesting because i didn't say this while we we're giving the tour but i don't ever think i even really realized how creative we were as a team when it was happening you know we when you reflect back over the last 14 years of this business the truth is we were just trying to one be unique like what makes us different? What makes us like we don't want to we don't want to be the same as everybody else because the same mediocre stuff is is just that. It's just blah. It's mediocre. Like why would anybody want to be that? So for me, it's like all right, what can we do to be different? To be unique? To really stand out? To really make you go whoa? I mean, hey, we're talking. You know, get, talked about the podcast and that. It's like you know, I'm looking for those whoa moments. Um, you know, I always talked about in, in previous conversations. Uh, previous speeches and different things that I've done, we often talk about the woe dam. People are like, oh, what's a woe dam? Well, these are experiences that make you go, whoa, damn. You know, and that's what we're trying to accomplish here at New Scooters for Less. So it was cool to like talk to those students, give them a tour, answer their questions. Uh, but I don't think I even really realized that we were creative. We were just different. And it definitely comes down to to the team and the team comes in every single day and they execute they've been doing that more than ever now you know i, I probably even even should not be on the vlog right now <laughs> because i i'm not the one that's around right now like i'm you know i'm with you eric and with the other crew like building up the media company and stuff right now which is a blessing in itself it's so awesome that i have a team capable of coming here and just executing like pros delivering that customer experience growing that customer experience, pushing the boundaries, taking us to the next step while I get to focus on the next thing. And it's it's just awesome. So mad props to Team NS4L for all that you do. Keep it up, I'm super proud of you guys. And to everybody who watches our vlog, thank you. I would love to hear how you guys are creating that ultimate customer experience the, in your business, the way that you guys are being unique and being creative. Leave a comment below and let me know. See ya.